I'm going to react to the Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning um, part one. Wait a minute. What? That's a lot. Part one? There's this one of these Deathly Hallows thing? Anyway, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I've seen all the Mission Impossibles and I swear I just said this in another video because I'm always not sure that I've seen them all because there's so many and I don't if the last one was Fallout, then I've seen them all, for sure. And I watched that one a couple times to make sure it wasn't as great as everybody thought. Oh, crap. My fell over. Sorry. I'm very nervous today, and there's nervousy things going on. I'm actually shaking. Um, I'm going to do this. I don't know why I'm still reacting to trailers, but here I go. It's Lawrence of Arabia. Yeah, the nightclub thing, I mean... Your days of fighting for the so-called greater good are over. There is no greater good anymore, is there? This is our That's the problem. To control the truth. The concepts. Oh, um, yeah. For everyone, for centuries to come. I don't want to say the wrong name. You're fighting to I was going to say his name. That doesn't exist. An ideal that doesn't exist never did. You need to pick a side. There are no sides, though. That's the problem. You got to pick your own side. No, oh, no, more desert. Are we being in the desert? Because whatever. Everybody could be in the desert. Yeah, they have no freaking doors on their car. Yeah, this, this is actually giving me John Wick vibes. That's why I was going to say in, in the desert again. Which I guess, when John Wick started moving around the world, which it looks like he's going to do in four. Yep, he's running. He should have been Forrest Gump. Who's that guy? That head looked familiar. That wasn't Paul Bettany, was it? You should just let Tom Cruise run for a whole movie. What are you going to land on the motorcycle? The Eye of Sauron. What's going on here? <laughs> Dead Reckoning. Part 1. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. I was thinking about it because I was watching reaction videos of other people who are just now watching movies. and I just watched um, David vs. Film. And he's been reacting to Harry Potter. So he just did the Deathly Hallows part one. And I'm just like, you know. I know it was one book. So in that way. I, are there Mission Impossible books? I don't think there are. So in that way, yeah, you're taking one the story of one book and splitting it in half. I, I really don't know why this is part one. Except to make more money. I, like I said, there was one or two in the middle there. I remember thinking I liked the one with Jonathan Reese Myers. And I didn't mind the one with Jeremy Renner either. But then again, those two guys are in my favorite actor category there of like my top 10 actors. So I've never really been that big into Mission Impossible. And as a Brian De Palma fan, I wasn't even into the first one. So. Um, that just looks like every other movie, like I said, and plus John Wick. <laughs> no. And it didn't occur to me before, because in, in the new one, in John Wick 4, they're in all these different cities. Probably the same cities. And I'm just like, okay. But I'm tired of the desert. I don't, I don't, I've never been interested in movies where it's hot. <laughs> I don't like movies about the South in the United States. Because I don't want to feel hot. <laughs> and when people are in the desert, I just get, I don't know, I think I, all that sunshine, I don't even like California. All that sunshine makes me sad. Being in the desert, I probably would be in the desert for two minutes before I kill myself. Because it's just, <laughs> there's nothing and sunshine. 
So, yeah. Um, if it was old world, would I go see it? Automatically. In this world now, I, I really want to see Top Gun Maverick. I really do. But um, the way my life is, I'm going to go see movies on like a necessity basis. Being that if I don't see it, I'll feel really bad about myself and I don't need to feel really bad about myself. So if I go and see a movie anytime in the near future, it's going to be as medicine. Just to say, okay, you're still a human being, even though your whole life's a mess, you still can do this thing you used to do. So it'll be, just, the last time I went to the movies was um, Matrix Resurrections in December. If I went to see, if I was to see Top Gun Maverick, there wouldn't be anything until, I mean, there's nothing I'm looking forward to. I mean, the thing with Top Gun Maverick, I was looking forward to that. What was it, two years ago it was supposed to come out? Or was it supposed to come out in the middle of the pandemic? I don't know. It got pushed a couple times. But the fact is, I definitely would have gone before. It's just my life is so bad right now um, that I really have no business going to the movies. And I have no business doing trailer reactions because, because I have no business going to the movies. But this is me talking about myself now. The trailer, that was nothing special. This is same old, same old. And if you like the same old, same old, that's great. Or if you love the series, of course you're going to want to see it again. Just like the people who watch all the Fast and Furious. I think I watched maybe... I think I... There was Luke Evans, who's one of my favorite people. I um, I think I... <laughs> I just fast-forwarded to where he was just to see his seats. Because I just... I, can't, I don't want to see car movies. But... Um, The, not, this is not something that would drag me to the theater. There's nobody in there. I mean, Tom Cruise, everybody likes Tom Cruise. I respect Tom Cruise. He's a good actor. He should have won an Oscar at some point, but he gets that Tom Cruise tax. He's too successful, just like Sylvester Stallone and people like that. They, they're too beloved, too successful. So even though they're good actors, the book on them is that they're just popular, no matter what they do. So they have to pay that tax where they're not going to get the respect that they deserve the other people get and don't deserve but yeah so um i don't know what i'm talking about anymore if my life suddenly changes and everything's wonderful i would go see this movie because i would have automatically seen it in the olden times before the empire before the pandemic i would have automatically seen this film